Good morning, everyone. Sorry, Cal. We're playing some more Fatal Frame for the Wheel of Struggle. And uh, during the last video, I definitely feel like I met the conditions for the Wheel of Struggle. Uh, I was struggling. I made two full circuits of places I'd already been. And for the most part, um, didn't get me one. So, there are two things that I figured out last time, which was I need to turn the vibrations on, because that actually matters for this game. And uh, I needed to review my information. And in particular, there is one thing that I went through I didn't want to go through or take the time to do it all on stream, but um, I just went through and reread the notes because we're allowed to read the notes without the timer running. And I found this. <clears throat> there seems to be a few devices in this mansion which are engraved with old characters. When I asked Mr. Takamine about them, he said they corresponded to numbers. I understand the first few. They're the old characters for the numbers 0 through 3 but I don't get the rest. They're characters that have the same readings as 4 through 9, but they mean something different. Then it has this. Now, the place that I've been stuck is a door where it has symbols on it. And I even did a quick Google to see if there were, like, if they had just not translated the Japanese characters or something. And it specifically said, or like, and I was like, wait, these are not the symbols for Japanese characters, which this one specifically says it's the old characters for the Japanese symbols, which is why I was convinced that they weren't actually numbers and that I needed to find something. Now, the problem was I was trying to find something and I already had it. Oh, crap. I need to start the timer. We'll go ahead and add, looks like about two minutes to that. Um, I'll, I'll, ret or I'll, I'll fix the time uh, between videos. So, these are the characters. I'm going to real quick here, go back to our file. This actually works out really well because that'll actually I'll just leave this running while I'm doing the screenshot and figuring out the translation. That should fix the time. It was about two minutes. We're gonna do a quick screenshot here. And so the top one is zero. I was treating it like a clock. So I went clockwise. But it looks like this symbol is nine. Which means this is, oh my god. Okay, so it is reverse clockwise and using a weird set of symbols and starts with zero at the top. I was wondering why there were just not ten once I went back and counted it. And that makes more sense. Okay, so zero, one, two... Okay, so there were two numbers that we got the code, or that we 
could potentially have this associated with. Uh, strangling ritual. 13th day of the 12th month, uh, 3669. So, because of the fact that it says held on the day of, I think it's, so it's the, One three one two. Oh, so yeah, I just spent about fifty minutes on that. Luckily, part of that was not. Spirit Stone. Honestly, just making er, I, I definitely need to make sure in the future that I take some time to reread the notes that I've got in uh, available. Feel a powerful presence from the back of the room. Okay, this is the place. Uh, we saw the seal. Um, so yeah, this is literally just all the things that I was missing. Great. Honestly, I'm really glad that I went back. I almost gave up. And I was like, you know what? I'm going to, before I start recording, just take a few minutes and review my notes and see if there's something that I missed. And I'm glad there was. Um, <laughs> so I am enjoying this game outside of that. And that I'm, I'm glad that was my own mistake because the game is really cool. Oh, that's a good reminder for me. So I've got a bunch of, I've got six of these stones. I should also, let's make sure we're on the right film. And we can. <clears throat> um, I think I wanted to do speed. I feel like speed is the best for this charges faster that was something i did during the last video that i needed to redo along with turning uh vibration on because i died So now, the seal that we just broke was on this, or it was on a door in this room. Um, just to be safe, I am going to pop my head back in here and save again, so I don't have to redo all of that. And this feels like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead. We're going to do camera. We're going to do 
Type 37 film, just in case. Because this feels... No more Talisman, the Force Holding the Force Shit is gone. Okay. This feels like it's going to be another mini-boss coming up soon, judging by the fact that we're going behind a sealed door. Maybe not. Oh, crying babies. That's great. Serious feeling from the talisman on the door. Camera type 14 film. This one is a, is that a, like a water wheel? The other thing I'll say is I'm really glad that it, that the solution was to move forward instead of backtracking. Cause when I was looking around before, I was really nervous. that we had to do a lot of backtracking, and the fact that it's not the case is good. Demoy's condition is getting worse and worse. She can't stop shaking. She keeps mumbling the same words over and over. I don't know what's happening, but it's... I don't know if what's happening is anything supernatural, but in any case, I think we better leave as soon as possible. Moy is in such bad shape she can't even move. I guess I'll have to look for a way out of here myself. Even if we waited for help, I doubt anyone would ever come looking for us. Another seal. Some other place shows in the photo room with lots of dolls. I don't think that's the doll room that we've been in before, though. Let's check the map, which is another thing I didn't realize that we had in through most of my playthrough. Okay. So, yep, these two doors are sealed. And it looks like we're going to find the way to go forward here. Cherry Atrium. Oh. So that's the way that seems to be forward. Let's see what this one is. Oh, that's, oh, there's the other, the five symbol again. What the heck? Yeah, this girl has problems with stairs. There's an audio tape on the shrine staircase. Okay. My controller is vibrating a little bit, which is making me nervous. But I think it's just the place we've already been. Although I will say I'm a little confused. Because this place is labeled as the Cherry Atrium. And that's the next thing on my checklist. So I think when we go back in there, we're going to get a boss fight. FMV. Okay. 
another tape. Before I turn the timer back on, we're going to go and listen to these two tapes. September 11th, 8.16 p.m. We looked all over the mansion, but we still couldn't find Koji. While true that this mansion is huge, I'm certain we would have found him by now. Could we have already left? He's been saying something about... More rope since we took some photos yesterday. September 12th, 9 a.m. I found Koji. His death was just like the one in the mountain village. His head and limbs were severed. I can't believe what's happening. Hey. So I want to Huh. Last time the water or last time you had to take a picture of what it showed to break a seal, and this time it does not seem to be the case. Something's going on. Garden lantern in the photo is lit. Stone mirror. Oh, um, there was a quote somewhere about the mirror and the five stones i think i don't remember exactly where did we just go Is that a loop that was a loop okay hopefully this is the right way now The one that we're looking for should be this one. This should be broken, all right? Maybe? No. But it feels like it should be. Um. Let's do a little bit more exploration. I do feel like I missed something in the back room here in the water or the room with the water wheel. Maybe 
Namely, I don't think I got over here. Yes. That's not as exciting as I was hoping, but it's something. Oh, that's right. It's this little lantern in the garden, it said. So that's a thing that has changed. So where is the garden? This <laughs> great cherry atrium. Okay, burial room, rubble room, library, lamp hallway, entrance, grand hall. I don't think there was something labeled a garden. I guess it could be like a garden in one of these other areas. Me what this one was. Let me make sure I'm on the right film. So I'm not wasting my good stuff. Maybe we do need to go back to the doll room to unlock that, I guess. Like, we're looking for a garden and a garden with a lantern. Another water wheel and a doll room? So, doll room, that's the rubble room. It, the doll room is... Screw me, I guess. I cannot... Okay. Where did you go? I think that's one we'd already done before, unfortunately, but that's okay. I guess we're leveling up, question mark? Like, we should still be getting whatever those points are. This is this room. Okay, good.
library. Save room. Um, oh, there was a, a spot we hadn't been back to yet. That we the one thing I did find during my last video was there's a door back here that we hadn't been to yet and this actually goes outside on a balcony I wonder if we can I was hoping that with the lantern lit, maybe it would be like a gar a thing out in the garden or something, or the uh, another water wheel. Oh, po 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 po. We're just gonna run here. This is back downstairs, which is actually not what I wanted to do. So I guess we're doing this and... Okay. So I'm actually curious, and we'll check here once we get to the bottom of the stairs. Um, okay, so yeah, we are still getting more points, more... Uh, more spirit, which is basically the XP system for this. This is the wrong way from where I was trying to go. I think. Yes. Even with a map, this game is hard to navigate. Which I realize probably intent at least partially intentional, but not my favorite thing. I have a specific room I'm trying to get to. I can't find it. Or remember where it is.
I do find it slightly ironic that I just said, oh, well, at least there's no backtracking, and then have proceeded to backtrack significantly. Um, <laughs> which, maybe I don't need to, and I'm just doing something wrong, is definitely a possibility. I'm definitely just struggling with the... with finding out how to progress through this, and... so weird, because I feel like... Hallway library... Mono room... Burial room, rubble room... Abyss... That one actually scared the crap out of me, but again, I am glad that I actually have the rumble on now, because uh, that drew my attention that I had something following me. I will say, uh, this game might have the best use of rumble that I've scene it is generally speaking not overly aggressive it's very like hey there's a little bit of a uh, it, it mimics a heartbeat and i think that's a really cool way like Kind of a, the idea is your heart beats faster when it uh, when there's ghosts nearby. You have this sixth sense that it's talked about with the character. It fits in several ways, so I appreciate that. I'm not usually a fan of Rumble, and this one I actually am appreciating for the most part. It's a little annoying when it does stuff. Um, when I can't tell where it is sometimes, or when I already know about it. Now, uh, let's save. I don't know, I didn't come up back across the room with the dolls as I was wandering back through. Okay, let's try this one more time, just because I'm... Come on. The bars being in the way is seriously causing the problem here. Yeah, this looks like the water wheel. I'm really annoyed. The, there's a water wheel in the room, or in the abyss room, and I feel like that's where we should be going, and it's not. 
I also lit that lamp and I have no idea what it lit. And I don't know. I'm feeling I I'm I feel like I am just bad at these kind of games. There's something about it that I'm clearly just not getting or not noticing or not doing it right. I swear I looked at that like three times already. And it just didn't work the first times. Maybe I was aiming at the wrong spot on it or something. Didn't there's the dolls. Awesome. So let's grab these items quick. My sixth sense is telling me some children are playing here. I can't see them. They keep calling to me. Are they playing tag or hide and seek? They might be the children in that photo. There were human heads in the room, so many of them. They were cut off by the Hamoro family master. They were all trying to tell me something. Should have never come here. Should have trusted the Sixth Sense. Where? I mean, the dolls are supposed to be... What breaks the next seal? Why isn't it triggering? Okay. I'll do this first. Kyrie. Bell's hair is so long I can't see her face. Well, that's terrifying. That was terrifying. Uh, I realized as we were going through the cutscene that the next thing on the list was listed as the doll room and that the room I had been in earlier with dolls in it wasn't listed on the map as the doll room, which means we hadn't fought a ghost in the doll room yet. Um, so I just started mashing the button to reactivate uh, or to get to the menu so that I could uh, change over to the stronger film. Awesome. 
I also left the film equipped because the next thing on the list after that was Cherry Atrium, so I figured we might be getting jumped on our way through. Uh, the next one is one I haven't seen yet, so it's definitely a possibility that this is it. Did not catch him. It's okay. Lighter. Notebook scrap. Woman that Tomoe called Kyrie. Looks just like the description of the rope shrine maiden in the legends. There's a strong resemblance between Tomoe and Ugeta. Um, Manner of the deaths in the folklore. Makes sense. Oh, stop. I'm not going upstairs yet. Red notebook scrap. Mirror is breaking, smash, broken mirror, people on the floor, all over the mansion, so many people, all those people, what are they running from? And then at the end, with such desperate looks on their faces, something's coming this way from deep within the mansion, coldness, it's colder than anything I've ever felt. I don't know anymore if this is a dream or real. Okay. I don't like the fact that I'm cornered right now, and I don't see the ghost. There we go. What just happened? Oh, that must be the... Did that just use the sacred water or something? We just got full healed somehow. Oh, okay. Not 100% sure what happened there, but I'm not complaining. audio tape. We'll listen to that in a second. I've found the tapes to be more about the story and less useful for the puzzles so far. Hmm. 
Little girl in a white kimono keeps pleading with me. I can't keep my mind focused, but her voice rings in my head and won't leave. What does she want me to do for her? I can't even get out of the mansion anymore. Broken. Five pieces. The mirror. Help Mr. Takamine. The way to break the curse. Chosen Maiden purifies. Okay. Um, so the only other number that I have is three... Three six six nine. Nailed it. Oh, and this is probably going to be the garden. Backyard. That was the fish tank room. This is the backyard, which is also on my to-do list of ghosts. So we're probably going to get attacked here again. I'm not trying to move that. There's just a thing there. This is also where the next fight is supposed to be, so I'm expecting this to end up with a another ghost fight. And I'm assuming it's going to come jumping out of the well, but I could be wrong. I'm wrong. We are running, doing a quick flip. We are running a little bit low on film. Um, and the materials to me gathered for me, there's a paragraph Five pieces of mirror called or said to seal off the hell gate and protect the region from a great disaster. Might have something to do with the hellish situation. Five holy mirrors and shrines around the area broke in a small earthquake. Give me the idea for this next work. I think I brought a news article about it with me. According to some legends, there's another true holy mirror. Okay, I think I dropped the research documents when I was trying to escape. Uh, I think the five mirrors that were destroyed in the earthquake had the role of watching over the true holy mirror. I don't think it was the earthquake that broke the five holy mirrors. I think it was a signal 
a seal on the Hellgate that the Kimuro True Holy Mirror provides broken for some reason. And the five mirrors were trying to warn us. Okay. Um, we're going to do a quick check here. Yeah, I think at this point we just continue. That looks like it's going to be the shrine. So this is going to be the end of this first night, I believe. Let's make sure we got the right film equipped. Can't do anything on the stairs. Second stone mirror. We found two. There 37 film. I don't think that's gonna count, unfortunately. Some other place shows in the photo. Four stones in the five holes. Okay. So that means that we need to go back to the abyss. That's where those lamps were, I believe. Getting a faint heartbeat right now. I am once again getting a faint heartbeat here, which continues to make me think that I'm being stalked by something. But honestly, that's kind of cool. That's kind of the point of a game like this, is you're supposed to constantly feel like you're being stalked and in danger. That one is blatant, though.
So I just realized I've been mashing X as soon as the um, blue circle pops up, and I should not be doing that. Wait, did we ever go up these stairs? I don't think I did. The girl who has been found after three days of mysterious disappearance has been adopted. Mr. Hinazaki, a close friend of Ryozo Munakata, also admitting will adopt the girl. The girl's parents were missing. Okay. Legend of the Five Mirrors. Okay, the Mirrors of the Five Gods. Okay. Just more lore, looks like. The... Oh my god. Yeah, I'm not sure if what the better way to do it is, but the way that these fixed camera angles work in this game is really awkward for moving around. And um I feel like that's one of the biggest problems I have because it does affect both the navigation, the movement, stuff like that. Um garden lanterns are lit. We have a lighter. We hadn't used it yet. Awesome. That's the last carving. I'm glad I was right about that. I feel like when I have had the pieces I needed, most of the puzzles have been pretty have have come to me pretty naturally. Um, it's mostly been stuff like realizing I didn't have or that I wasn't using the map. Oh, that's a, a blue. I am not a... Um, yeah, no, I feel like I've actually been able to find what I'm looking for most of the time once I had the tools I needed, or once I realized I had the tools I needed. Like... Going through... The first, vi the whole first video, I didn't realize there was a map, and the whole second video, I didn't realize that I had one of the notes that I needed. This video I feel like I've been able to progress much better. I still feel like we're taking longer than I would like. Um Um, let's go ahead and save again. Oh, we can't save again. It's now red. Great. I 
think that means we're almost at the end of the first chapter, which is awesome. Or it has limited saves, which I is also possible. Reactor, do I match the carvings to the characters, maybe? Oh, great. Giant blood splatter, door closed behind me, audio tape, poor Buddha statues, said one more is needed. Can't do anything there. This guardian god statue doesn't have hands or feet. Yep. Broken mirror. Yep. <laughs> I realized the second after he was like, oh. I probably need to look up, don't I? Okay. Apparently I can move out, which is actually really good. Because that means I can run part way down and get some distance. run back up. He's still pretty close behind me. Oh crap, stupid stairs. What? Buddha statues at the Shinto gate. Okay, I'm about to go to, to the shrine deep within Tamura Mansion. 
May they say the peace of the true holy mirror is kept. The curse is kept. It has left its mark on my limbs. There's no escaping it. It's my last hope. I found four of the Buddha statues I need. And I need to get a piece of the mirror. I've managed to find an old document that tells the location of the fifth statue. Make observance to the Buddha at the base of the large gate so that the souls of the piteous shrine maidens can reach up to the heavens. If all goes well, no one will ever know. I have read these. No one will ever have to read these notes, and I can use them towards the content of my next book. In closing, I would like to thank my assistant and partner, Tomoe Hirasaka. Remember for the words she left me with, I wouldn't have been able to complete this final work. If I don't return, please give her a final or a proper burial. Great. It was literally right there. Place the five Buddha with her damaged limbs. Three by three grid of holes. I thought we were thought we were done, but I guess not. This feels like a take a screenshot moment. I mean, I think it's pretty much just... Yeah. Match the limbs to the top left, bottom left corner. And there's Is a piece of the mirror. Ghost of the Shrine Maiden. Oh. Wait, what? I'm very confused. It gave me control for like half a second and then it took a control away again. There's the children. <gasps> and 
would wake up in a different part of the building with one rope mark. Two ropes? No. Pretty cool. Okay. And I think this is where we're going to go ahead and wrap for today. Uh, this should be the end of act of the first chapter. Um, honestly, this is uh, because of all the cutscenes, the five hours that we have to play this game is being a lot longer. Um, so I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to lay this one out, but uh, you'll know because uh, I'll have already finished it by the time you watch it. Anyway, hope you're still enjoying. If you are, please give me a like and subscribe. Check out the other content on my channel. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments. And as always, have a good one. We'll catch you next time.